Step back into the glamorous world of 1974 with The Great Gatsby, a cinematic rendition of F. Scott Fitzgerald's iconic novel. Starring the legendary Robert Redford, this adaptation weaves a tale of opulence, love, and disillusionment against the backdrop of the Roaring Twenty Seconds. The film's enduring qualities prompt us to ponder what makes it a timeless symbol of the industry. Was it the meticulous storytelling, the evocative performances, or perhaps the captivating portrayal of an era marked by excess and decadence? As you reflect on the classic Hollywood actors in this film, who stood out as your favorite? Robert Redford's portrayal of Jay Gatsby, Mia Farrow as Daisy Buchanan, or another member of the stellar cast. The ensemble's chemistry and individual brilliance contribute to the film's lasting impact, making it a noteworthy piece in the cinematic tapestry of the 70s seconds. Now, as we delve into the heart of this cinematic gem, let's uncover some intriguing facts about The Great Gatsby. Did you know that the film's director, Jack Clayton, aimed for authenticity by filming at historic locations like Newport, Rhode Island? This commitment to detail is just one facet that adds depth to the visual narrative. The film also features a mesmerizing score by Nelson Riddle, enhancing the emotional resonance of the story. Before we part ways, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Did it spark a passion for classic literature, or perhaps it holds a special place in a nostalgic chapter of your life? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear your unique connection to The Great Gatsby. So, whether you're revisiting this classic or discovering it for the first time, let the allure of the 70 seconds unfold before you, capturing the essence of Fitzgerald's timeless tale. And with that, we invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. Let the conversation begin. In the 1974 movie The Great Gatsby, directed by Jack Clayton, Patsy Kensett played Mia Farrow's daughter. Interestingly, Kensett later portrayed Farrow in Love, and Betrayal, the Mia Farrow story, which included a reenactment of the shooting of the Great Gatsby. This connection adds a unique layer to the film's history. The screenplay of the movie was written by Francis Ford Coppola. After viewing a rough cut, Coppola expressed his frustration to producer Robert Evans, questioning the presence of swans floating over the characters' faces in a particular scene. Notably, Coppola had no involvement in scripting the scene, where Jay and Daisy share a moment near a lake. Mia Farrow, who played Daisy Buchanan, attributed her perceived lack of on-screen chemistry with Robert Redford to Redford's intense focus on the Watergate scandals that were unfolding in Washington, D.C., during filming. Farrow claimed that Redford spent all his free time locked in his trailer, engrossed in watching the political scandal unfold on television. Two years later, Redford portrayed Watergate reporter Bob Woodward in All the President's Men. These behind-the-scenes details provide a fascinating glimpse into the making of the film, showcasing the interplay between the actors, the director, and the scriptwriter. It adds a layer of complexity to the production and sheds light on the dynamics that influenced the on-screen performances. The connections between the cast and their later roles in related projects further enrich the legacy of the 1974 adaptation of The Great Gatsby. Karen Black's outstanding performance in the 1974 movie The Great Gatsby earned her the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress. Surprisingly, despite this achievement, she was overlooked for an Oscar nomination. This snub by the Academy sparked discussions about the award selection process and raised questions about the recognition of talent in the film industry. Black's portrayal of a supporting character brought depth to the film, showcasing her acting prowess. The contrast between the Golden Globe recognition and the absence of an Oscar nomination highlights the subjective nature of award ceremonies and the varying criteria used by different institutions. The discrepancy in acknowledgement for Black's role prompts reflection on the intricacies of the film industry and the factors that influence accolades. It also sheds light on the dynamics between different award organizations and their divergent perspectives on what constitutes exceptional performance. This aspect of The Great Gatsby's history not only adds a layer of intrigue to the film's legacy, but also invites discussions on the subjectivity inherent in recognizing talent within the cinematic landscape. Karen Black's Golden Globe win, coupled with the lack of an Oscar nomination, serves as a compelling starting point for exploring the complexities of film accolades and the impact on an actor's career. 
the casting process for Daisy Buchanan in the 1974 adaptation of The Great Gatsby involved notable contenders. Mia Farrow secured the role, beating out candidates like Faye Dunaway, Candace Bergen, Catherine Ross, and Lois Chiles. Interestingly, Chiles ended up with the smaller role of Jordan Baker. Behind the scenes, the recruitment of male extras for party scenes added an authentic touch. Many were sourced from the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island, chosen for their 1920s appropriate clean-cut hairstyles. When the film premiered in Los Angeles, it gained exclusive engagement across all three screens at the former General Cinema AFCO Center Cinema, showcasing its initial impact. These details offer a glimpse into the meticulous casting decisions, attention to historical accuracy, and exclusive screenings that marked the early stages of The Great Gatsby's 1974 production. Such insights contribute to the multifaceted history of this cinematic adaptation, revealing the intricate choices made to bring F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic to life on the silver screen. Robert Town, despite being offered a substantial $175,000 salary, declined the opportunity to write the screenplay for the 1974 adaptation of The Great Gatsby. His reasoning was straightforward. He didn't want to risk being the unknown Hollywood screenwriter who messed up a literary classic. Instead, Town chose to write Chinatown, a decision that not only earned him an Academy Award, but also established him as one of the greatest screenwriters of the period. Town's refusal marked a pivotal moment in the film's development, shaping the trajectory of both The Great Gatsby and Town's own career. His decision to pass on the project had lasting consequences, leading to the involvement of Francis Ford Coppola in the screenplay. This shift in creative direction set the stage for the unique behind-the-scenes dynamics and challenges faced during the making of the film. The impact of Town's choice on the cinematic landscape and the subsequent success of Chinatown adds a layer of complexity to the history of The Great Gatsby. It underscores the delicate balance between artistic integrity and commercial considerations in the film industry, making Town's decision a crucial point of departure for understanding the intricacies of this iconic adaptation. As the glittering curtain falls on our exploration of the mesmerizing world of The Great Gatsby, I encourage you to let the echoes of the jazz age linger in the corridors of your mind. Whether you've danced through the opulent parties of West Egg or wandered the melancholic shores of Long Island with Jay Gatsby, take a moment to unearth the emotions that this 1974 cinematic masterpiece has stirred within you. Reflect on the enigmatic allure of F. Scott Fitzgerald's characters, the glimmering cinematography that breathes life into the roaring twenties, and the haunting melodies that echo through the decades. Consider the complexities of love, the pursuit of the American dream, and the tragic consequences of illusions. Now, I extend an invitation to you, dear reader or viewer, to share the gems of your thoughts. What memories has the great Gatsby etched in your heart? Which scenes continue to play in the theater of your mind? Unveil the layers of your personal connection with this classic tale. Let the exchange of stories become a testament to the enduring magic of storytelling and the shared experiences that bind us across time. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey with me. Your reflections are not just annotations, but threads woven into the rich tapestry of the great Gatsby's legacy. Until our paths cross again in the realms of art and imagination, may your thoughts continue to dance with the elegance of a Gatsby soir. Gratefully yours.